Okay, this is part two of our review of Transformers Movie One Leader Class Megatron. We have the premium series and the original uh, Megatron. We're not, in this part, we're not going to talk about him because he's, we already talked too much about him in the first part and uh, essentially they're the same. So, one last look at this guy. Excuse me. Just center him. Uh, one last look at him in bot mode. Very posable figure. Uh, very back heavy, so I'm having have him propped up with his nose cone. Uh, you can get him in very dramatic poses. Here is like Mark Anthony delivering a speech, uh, a eulogy in Caesar's funeral. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. Mean, Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, he is a he's a he is probably the worst leader class figure. But if you're a big fan of Megatron, again, as I said, you can get him. You can he's a good display piece, but not as a play play toy, a play piece. Um, you for me transforming him is is a pain. So let's get on with the transformation. Just one last look at him before I transform him. Great, absolutely magnificent paint job. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a lot of gold, dark gray, and each figure varies on the uh, burn marks. There are burn marks here and there from his flying, maybe friction burns. They do di vary from each figure. So if, if you do plan on buying him for $20, please do not spend more than $20. Do not fall prey to the hobby shops that sell him at forty dollars or at sixty dollars even just getting for twenty dollars at Toys R Us um, just check which one you prefer because he's got burn marks here and there and some have a few some have a lot so just just make sure the paint job is, is okay you're gonna get a crappy figure make sure it's the best crappy figure there is okay on with the transformation and enough of my banter um, just straighten out everything get rid of the FX France pose okay just put the head this way okay he's a pretty stocky figure I mean he's a pretty bulky beefed up figure um, just like the the leader class prime I mean, they, they do look good together if you have the premium series of the if you have Optimus uh, premium series and if you have um, if you want to, co to put them together that'd be a good idea you can get him but if you, excuse me but if you're saving if you're saving money for something else I, I suggest you pass up on this guy okay to transform him and I hope you bear with me um, it's kind of tricky okay so make sure everything's aligned before you transform him um, what you want to do first is lower the these guys, these red wings or spikes, unhook the head, which we've already done, and then unhook the back piece, the back waist piece, like so. Okay, and he will transform this way. Um, this this will become the front part of the jet, and his entire bottom torso uh, is going to become. The under chassis for the wings. Okay, um, no, we just did that, right? Um, how do you do this? Oh, okay, okay, here we go. Uh, <clears throat> oh, how did I do this guy? Oh, okay, unhook the arms and then just flip over this part of the body okay yeah like so and then yeah. I don't know if you can follow just the body collapses in a different way oops yeah, just do it right wait do this sorry do this auto more first like so okay Sorry, I'm having trouble again. Okay, so let me just repeat that. Just 
automorph his nose cone first and attach. Uh, if you can, if you will allow me to. There you go. Okay, and close in the face. Okay, it's, that's a nice touch. I sort of like that. Okay, open him up. Ah, here we go. Close in the hands. Okay, and then pop open the fusion cannon parts. Okay, and then close in the shoulders, like so. Okay. Um, okay. These tabs are going to tab in there. I'm going to tab in there. So rotate and tab in. Rotate and tab in. That's the front part of the Cybertronian jet. Uh, piece of cake, right? That's the easy part. Now the hard part is, um, let me see if I can do it. Uh, okay. straightening this part out okay and what you want to do first is make sure the you automorph the legs um, they do have a joint that makes it swivel like this, like this and then it folds the feet okay like this okay and then you just try and split up the legs and this is the tricky part okay there are notches here, hole, sorry, holes there and there. And you want to connect these pegs there. The task seems impossible, but it is doable. Okay? Um, to do that, you just need to twist. Okay, you need to twist the, uh, the hips, the joint, the ratchet joints right there. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay. And then sort of figure out a way on how to hinge it out here. Like so. I mean, don't even read the instructions. Their instructions are bloody useless. Okay. Once you've folded the feet in a certain position, you can tab it in. Um, you can just adjust it. Okay. Rotate the tail part. Okay. Okay. Just adjust it this way. Okay. Same thing with this guy. Running out of time. Surprise, surprise. Okay. Okay. It does make the sound if you push that button. And with great difficulty. There he is in his Cybertronian jet mode. Sorry if you were if you guys weren't able to, weren't able to follow that, but there he is. Okay, that's about it. Um, just okay. That's about as good as it gets. Um, it's a nice alt mode. It rolls fairly well. Um, a lot of okay. Maybe that looks better. Okay, okay, hope I didn't break anything. There you go. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, let me just say my final thoughts because I do not want to have a part three of this figure. It's a great, it's a good enough, decent alt mode. Uh, you can live with it. You can display him this way or in robot mode, but uh, transformation is just a pain. And one thing I did notice is after I've seen a lot of the reviews of the fallen Voyager figure, he does look a lot like the fallen some parts at least um the cockroach tail fin the tail section it looks like a cockroach's tail section it's very similar they've got both these spiky fins and i guess because they're both cybertronian jets that's why they're very similar so that's a plus i guess and again as i said the burn marks do vary but they all have burn marks so there you have him transformers movie one leader class megatron I don't recommend him, but if you like him, go get him.
Thanks for watching.